Hello, I'm gonna show you how you can increase the weight on your piano keys by yourself. So for myself, I've been looking a bit online, right? I read several posts and blogs around like, what can you do to increase the weight on your piano keys and all that. And uh, I talked to my piano technician too, and unfortunately he was a little bit busy and I only had time like a month from now. And I was, okay, maybe I can find a way to figure this out myself, right? So the first thing you want to know is like uh, for your piano keys, you always have like a down weight and an up weight, right? And there's small little tools you can buy online, right? Where you can adjust your weight to figure out like what it is that you're currently looking at for your uh, piano, right? For your key weight, right? So I have a, a Yamaha entry model here. I, I bought it used. And the down weight is around like 56 grams, already pretty heavy for me, but just for the sake of practicing, I want to increase it a little bit, right? And um, I think that's also where the benefit now comes from doing it yourself, right? Because if I talk to my technician, I would say like, hey, maybe make it a little bit closer to 60 or something like that, right? But then once I start playing, I'll figure out that maybe it's too heavy or too light. And then, you know, it's a back and forth, right? And as you progress, when you play piano, that might change, right? You might want to have it a little bit heavier and then increase it again like after some month and then potentially until you find that weight that you feel like is, is nice or prepares you from an upright to a grand or whatever it might be right so i found a really cool trick and um, i didn't find any good videos so i thought like i, I gotta share this with you guys and wh whoever might be in a similar situation um here it is right so I read on a blog online that some people found uh, good weights to be added to the piano keys that are actually self-sticking and um, thus easy to remove. So you don't have to drill anything into your keys or uh, there's no screws or anything involved, right? And the thing what they recommended was um, actually for motorcycles. They're in the wheels of motorcycles, you can add some weights that kind of like, I don't know what it does, but I'm not a motorcycle driver. Some of you might know, right? Anyway long story short you can buy these uh, weight sticks right and they're self sticking at the at the end back and you already see like they when you buy them you got to make sure at first that you know how wide your keys are in the back like is it what's the measure there so that you buy the the weights that are actually not too wide right if they get too wide then they will kind of like shiver on each other and then your key action will be unuseful right so I'm actually in the middle of it and I was so, so happy that I thought I gotta make a video and share with you guys, right? So um, I'm gonna quickly turn the camera around so you guys can see what's happening on the piano. One second. Oh, I think it doesn't allow me to do so. Sorry, I'm, I'm not a pro here. So then I'm just gonna move the camera so you can see a bit better, right? Oops. So here we are, right? You see, I've opened my, my piano here. Just removed the latch from the top. And now you see the individual keys. This is like the middle section here, uh, upward from the middle C, right? And you can see like the, I've already started sticking them on, right? So you can go one by one. And what I'm actually gonna do is not, at first I thought I have to add quite a lot more, but after putting the first layer, I feel like this section here, the keys already have such a much nicer weight to it than what I have on the side here, right? So I'm 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 kind of like halfway through, right? Um, looking at at where I'm at, right? So here, no weights yet. Here, the section is already weighted. And what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna finish this section here. I'm adding one layer to the middle section of these five gram weights. And um, in my base area at the very end here. I'm probably going to add two layers. So I want the, the base to be a little bit heavier than the middle section and the, the, the lightest should be like the, the top area here. Just like how, how I feel I, I, want, I want it to be, right? So, so here's a trick, right? So as I showed you these stripes, right? Um, you, you, you buy them, right? And then you take some scissors and you will cut them, right? You cut these apart. So now here's the thing I want to share with you because like maybe next time when you get started you uh, you run into the same thing, right? So you see when you cut them on one side is a little surplus of this uh, plastic there. You see that? that? That black area. 
And the problem is if you put that now on, then once you have the, the weights so close to each other from the keys, right, um, they might uh, stick a bit together. So my recommendation is like, if you, if you have that ridge, right, try to really cut that, that, that border, that, that really small, it's like literally a millimeter or something of, of that sticky stuff, right? Really try to cut that off. And then you will see like there's a little bit less surplus on the sides, right? So once you found it, you can like test lay it, is it there? I move it further to the back, right? I think there's some reasons for doing that or not. But I'm sure when, once you start playing around, you'll find what you like. And then I remove that sticky tape from the back. And I just place it, place it on the back. <laughs> there we go. And it's on, see? I added one more weight. So that's pretty good, right? And as I said, like after, at first I thought I'd have to add like several layers, right? I saw some videos where people, they really put like five, six or something in the back, right? But as I said, like for me, like I'd probably go gradually. I add the first layer, play a week or something. And then if I want to add more, I, I just repeat that process, right? You'll also see I already have a little kitchen knife here, right? So sometimes I try to squeeze it in the back a little bit before I figure it out. I have to really make that cut nicer for removing these uh, surplus of um, sticky grip on the sides, right? So anyway, it's very easy. You can also just go with the knife in and remove them. And I think that's what makes this technique so nice, right? These, uh, you can remove them at any point and say you, you don't like it, right? You just take something and scrape them off, right? It's really, there's no, no harm done, right? So that's all I want to share with you guys. Um, I hope you have fun increasing the weights on your piano. I'm, I'm totally blown by just this already, right? Like I feel like the touch has improved so much just by adding one layer. Um, once I'm done with adding the bass and playing it for a week or something, I, as I said, I might decide to add more or should my hands get too tired, I might uh, decide to remove it or whatever, right? So that's all, have fun.